Hey guys, Silence Yale here. Welcome back to another Utah Macross Gacha video slash tutorial. So today's video is going to be a slightly longer one because we've got some stuff to talk about. Um, so brace yourself, make yourself comfortable, get ready for some heavy information from Utah Macross's 5.1.0 update. So I'm sure most of you who have already updated the game since yesterday or even two days ago, <laughs> technically, I'm actually recording on the 1st of uh, October right now. And well, because I just ended work, so don't mind me if I kind of sidetrack a bit or I fumble with my words. It is technically 3 a.m. in my country or 4 a.m. in Japan right now that I'm recording this video. Um, so, yeah, so let's get down to it. First things first, um, you've seen the update list. If you guys are on Apple, you probably can see all the Japanese text that has been included in the update. There are a few, um, you know, um, life improvement modifications to the game which we will break down later on and of course there are you know other things that's going on they fixed some bugs but they, mm, there is a new bug that has appeared <laughs> so we'll talk about it all um, in this video as well but first thing first I'm sure a lot of you who have probably seen the loading bar uh, after you've passed the home screen uh, of Utah Macross and You've probably seen like they've promoted the brand new um, Valkyrie third album as well in the top left hand corner. And then of course on the right hand side, you'll probably see some very interesting images of 7 star episode plates or rather 6 star episode plates form. Um, and if you can read some of the Japanese text because you're already familiar with the game for 4 years now, you probably know that these six star episode plates uh, one belonging to Ranka and the other one belonging to Mikumo um, are being featured for the brand new style of step up gacha so we've seen it happen already three times now since the month of September um, so this time round it seems like Ranka and Mikumo are getting this treatment so luckily for me this particular episode for Ranka um, I've already fully evolved so I don't really have to pull it <laughs> when it comes around. Um, so yeah, so Ranka fans, Mikumo fans, just pay attention to this notification um, that uh, that seven step uh, step up gacha is coming, where it's gonna guarantee you a copy of the six star episode plate on the seventh step. So hopefully you guys have the singing stones ready, or your wallets are ready to you know vomit out the cash. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and then on the bottom left hand corner, that tiny box, if you guys have been playing this game long enough, you can tell that kanji word, the first two kanji words beside the 10 means free template pools. Oh, they are coming back. That's great. And then of course, during the whole duration period, uh, it's a one once per day pool, um, lasting from the 8th of October to the 10th of October. And of course, there's a second round from the 13th to 15th of October. A total of 60 plates will be given free, which is fantastic. And of course, there's going to be a special mission that's going to appear from the 8th of October to the 30th of October, which is going to celebrate the Wakure wa Akira Menai, which is what we're going through right now. Um, it's the brand new song for the upcoming Macross Delta movie. So hopefully you guys are having fun with this current event right now. Sadly to say, there is a bug that's going on with the game, uh, especially this brand new event. Uh, Dana has actually taken note of it already. So what is the bug? I'm sure you guys are wondering. So if you guys head into the event area, I'm gonna lower the game volume here because of copyright reasons. So let's reduce the volume. Alright, so if you can tell, I've already full combo the hard difficulty of the song. But if you go into the mission tab, you notice that the particular mission that requires you to full combo, um, you know, 
any specific difficulty that you can master is not being cleared. So yes, that is the bug. Basically, if you full combo the event song right now, that the main event song, it doesn't register. So hopefully this gets fixed soon. Uh, I was trying to grind as hard as I could to gain the free event gacha tickets to do this gacha video, but you know, because of the bug, I'm not able to. And I didn't, I don't have enough tickets anymore to grind. As you can tell, I have only like a single ticket left to grind the last event song that has a mission here, which is Welcome to Wild Korea World. So. That's kind of a bummer. <laughs> so this gacha video is gonna end up being a gacha video without the event gacha tickets to pull. Uh, eventually when I do get the tickets, I will pull the gacha. And if I get anything nice, as usual, I will upload it in the next gacha video, which is belonging to Mikumo and her new 7 star episode play. Excuse me. Oh, lots of gas in my throat. Okay, so aside from that, so I'm sure if you guys have followed me on Instagram, yes, you probably know um, of the update during the maintenance for version 5.1.0. There's some wonderful, wonderful uh, added components to the game. So we're going to talk about it. Um, so I'm going to go into the regular live tab and probably choose a song that's not easily copyrighted on YouTube, <laughs> apparently. So I, I know which song it is, so it's a, so if you guys have seen my um, special live sequences videos, you probably uh, would have noticed that certain songs don't get copyrighted. So where is that song? Um, nope, nope, nope. Where is it? It's not here. Okay, that's strange. Uh, anyways, uh, <laughs> where's my ESO run? That's weird. Where did it go? Okay, anyways, uh, <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna move along. We're gonna choose any song. Uh, if it's, even though it gets copyright strike, uh, you know, I'm currently not being able to monetize my channel, so... You guys, please help me out. Subscribe to the channel, watch the videos. It's gonna help me move on to being able to monetize my channel, which is going to help me out a lot in the future. Because um, life is getting very, very difficult right now with... You know, the pandemic going on, people losing jobs, uh, and I might lose mine. Uh, so yeah, it, I cannot emphasize how much it will help me out if you guys subscribe, like, share, you know, and all the usual stuff that any YouTuber out there will ask you. So, okay, we're, gonna, we're just going to enter into a song that, um, you know, where I've, I've already played before. So if you guys... Oops. Let's choose one that I have energy to go into. <laughs> okay, so first things first. Um, you, the, the improvements only occur when it comes to selecting the episode plates that you're going to equip onto your divas. So if you guys remember this cycle button, it will show you all the slots that's available for you know, in, including divas for the life sequences if you guys have actually set the game to let you see the dancing and all this in the background while you're playing and of course the first thing first is you can see the episode plate that you're, you're, you're borrowing from your friends or you know strangers uh, that they actually show you randomly in the whole list so the other thing you want to pay attention to is if you go into the um okay it doesn't work with the auto creation of the episode plates as you can see. Um, so why does it appear? Basically if you tap on the episode plate modification and you go into this blue tab, normally you will see um, most of the stuff here but 
it look different for the first time um, that you guys actually encounter it as you can tell the the style of the whole setup has changed somewhat so all the information here is actually the same as before it's just that the text is a bit smaller uh, the font size so yeah so where is it different it starts here so the idle selection po portion uh, you highlight the characters that you want to see episode plates that can be used by such divas um, you know it's still the same thing but there's this checkbox that appears right now so right now I am actually modifying Mikumo's episode plate so what happens when you highlight the checkbox basically it pinpoints the specific diva that you're modifying the episode plates for so you will highlight Mikumo's face straight away instead of you just selecting Mikumo's face uh, this is basically just a lazy man's way of highlighting the diva that you want so it will you know it will um, show all the plates that can be used by Mikumo um, then of course if you notice that some of the episode plates the skill icon is lit uh, up mainly because these episode plates are the ones that can be used by Mikumo and of course the skill will activate um, for the song so yeah if you're wondering why the skills are not activating is because they've actually changed the naming of the skills again so people got confused with the diamond and the triangle shapes so now they have changed it to a blue version and of course a red version if you're wondering what the Japanese text in the blue and the red boxes say basically if you can see here in the red one it actually says short so short duration skill so they've changed the triangle and diamond icons into text and colored base boxes so if you guys are colored blind I'm sorry um, there's no other better way to explain it I think the triangle and diamond icons would have been easier for you guys who are colored blind um, so yeah so the other way you can take note of is basically the skill text at the top right hand corner of the episode play that's basically the only other way you can tell whether it's for a short duration song long duration song and whether the skills will activate for you or not so that's one thing you need to pay attention to so yes red text says short blue text um wait. this is so short so why is the skill not activating oh it's because it's the center center position skill oh god <laughs> okay okay so yeah that's just okay so blue icons basically is the live skill i guess the red one here is the center skill so hmm. <laughs> okay so that's one other thing to take note of i just learned of it myself so yeah okay so pay attention to that so aside from the short box and the long box where's the blue one we, we saw blue ones earlier oh that's strange where did the blue boxes go huh. okay anyways um let's move on we've got lots more to talk about so if you go all the way down yes now there is subcategories for live skill active skill and of course center skill um, they put center skill at the last one because basically it's the option that most people will probably not uh, filter to so you can probably ignore all this because nobody will search episode plates for center skill most of the time they will be like um, maybe I guess if you're going for a high score custom build you might want to set it to total total up total support total plus life then of course the life plate up I mean star plates so yellow skills um, yellow song total up love plates up you know that kind of stuff so if you guys are used to reading all the Japanese text already uh, after watching my videos countless times for four years you can probably roughly guess what these are so uh, I won't really explain that so let's move on I think the life skill 
and the active skills are the more important one. So this button here is basically the reset button. So if you've actually selected anything, you can just press this to reset. So yeah. So okay. So the first two, I will explain them. This is long. So episode plays with long durations will appear. There we go. So we finally start seeing the blue boxes. All right. Then of course the other one is for short duration songs. So if you're looking for episode plates that help long duration songs, short duration songs, this is the best way to uh, look for them. Then of course you have your skill ranking abilities. You know, like um, usually if you want to look for very good life skills, um, you can sort by double S rank skills. As you can tell here, so they will bring all the episode plates that show double S rank. So that's pretty fantastic. Um, okay, here we got a whole bunch of stuff that we're going to explain once again. But, you know, you just have to get used to them. So here we go. Score up. So these are the short duration abilities. Score up EX. So specific elemental songs. So like yellow, blue, pink. You know, those skills that can only activate when they are used for those colored songs. Um, long score improvement. So this is the most fantastic thing. So if you're trying to custom build your whole diva team and you want to Im include episode plates that improve the long duration skills, short duration skills, now you can do so by using this filter function. And it'll be so easy to find. And of course, you can decide for yourself um, like what episode plates um, you want to maybe fully evolve first like you can see I've got three episode plates that are not fully evolved and these are like long duration improvements yep so if you're like short on long duration episode plates of certain colors like maybe I need Min Mei here to fully evolve so I have like a variety of long duration improvement episode plates that would be a good idea choice to decide on how you're going to use your rare up star. Then of course we have short duration songs uh, episode plays. So I've got a lot more episode plays that improve the <laughs> life skills for short duration abilities. Oh, so with that filter function included, it's fantastic. It's going to help you decide whether you want to um, shoot for better high scores on short duration songs or long duration songs depending on how many copies of such episode plates do you have that kind of stuff mode score up so this one sadly to say can't be improved by any of these episode plates so yeah it's one of those episode plate types that you probably won't use your rare up star on that kind of stuff yet then of course there's the full score up so this one oh I don't have any full score up you gotta be kidding me <laughs> Okay, that's pretty interesting. So, yeah, so I guess I get I got to get episode plates with such skills. Score repeat. So these are for long duration uh, songs. Uh, and then of course, let's move on with score repeat ex. So as long as you see ex at the back, basically it's the kind of ability that requires a specific elemental or type of song before the skill can actually activate so very very specific equipment type episode plates Utahime score repeat so when you see Utahime at the front basically it's only usable by that specific diva so th those are the kind of episode plates that are very very selfish can only be used by the diva itself score repeat and damage so that's for long duration high score achievement Score and damage, short duration. So then of course we have the Utahime score and damage. Life recovery. Then of course we start to see the combination skills. So life recovery and score up. Uh, and then of course we have the easy tapping note abilities which we seldom use nowadays or almost never nowadays. Then of course you start to see all the combined skills which isn't exactly important anymore. Um, so yeah, so these kind of skills you probably will never filter for. And of course the combo bonus, this one you probably might use might use if you don't have any of the upper level filters um, 
in your arsenal to help you get good high score. And the rest are just pretty mediocre stuff. So you've got your combo and score up. Then your combo bonus. Um, no damage. This one you practically nobody uses. No damage and score up. So yeah. Anyways, the rest... Basically, once it starts from here onwards, these few... These are practically non-usable or under underused episode plates. So you can forget about these filters technically. <laughs> okay, moving along. So active skill. Active skill is a lot shorter, so as you can tell, you can sort according to the skills ranking. Then of course you got the life recovery active skill, score up uh, active skill. So if you're wondering what active skill is, it's basically the center position episode plate when you tap that yellow no that center round big button during the live sequence that's basically your active skill then you've got your um, no damage ability then you've got your um, half damage you know um, what else is that easy tapping notes combo really is there such a skill oh wow oh Oh, I have not used that in such a long time that I've forgotten. So, yeah, if you don't want your combos to break skill. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty interesting. So, yeah, most of the time you probably use this too. Then that's about it. The rest, nobody technically uses anymore. So, yeah. Anyways, so this is all the filters that are, um, which is good to have nowadays. Especially when it comes to um, a lot of the events where high score achievement is, you know, critical. So pay attention to that. And of course, the last thing we have to talk about is this, this very very essential <laughs> improvement. So in the past, you know, the colors were not like this. The red one was actually the download button. So if you are looking to update your um, save state for that particular setup and you end up pressing this one which was red in the past you might you know overwrite <laughs> a very important setup that you didn't want to erase so a lot of people have been pulling their hair regarding this last time so luckily this time around they've included the arrows as well so you see the down arrow basically you're putting your uh, setup into a file basically is to save and of course the arrow out of the file is to take out so that's very easy to understand now so whew, thank goodness Dana listen to the fans who are complaining on Twitter I'm one of them <laughs> so luckily such improvements have been included and of course the filter system we've been begging for it for a long time finally we have it although I feel like the filter system uh, could be refined even more um, you know but until then I think this is a very good improvement step for Dana um, you know to make the fans happy who have been playing for four years now so thank goodness thank goodness for all this so yeah anyways um, we'll start off with one other thing. I'm gonna do something that is a bit different from what I've done in the past. So in the past, all the Valkyrie um, explanations, I've always been doing it on either Facebook or Instagram. So this time around, I'm gonna include it into my videos. Since Valkyries are coming back into the game, maybe they might rotate with background um, content you know like what they're doing in the last event of the month so this month we're getting a Valkyrie next month maybe we'll be getting backgrounds again who knows so anyways let's go in I've already got enough points to unlock the brand new Kairos for Hayate so we're gonna go do, do that um, so I can increase the music here from now on <laughs> because there's no more copyrighted stuff. So I'm gonna unlock the Valkyrie right here. Let's do this. Okay. So I tell I have not fully evolved the episode plate. Right, 
俺が守る Okay, so this is the brand new VF31AX. Basically, it's the Kairos edition of Hayate's Valkyrie. So this Valkyrie has been introduced for um, the brand new set of Valkyries for the upcoming Macross Delta movie. Uh, so the whole entire Chaos team is going to change their um, Valkyries to Kairos editions in the future, which is pretty fantastic because apparently the Kairos Valkyrie is pretty popular. Um, so I'm not too sure whether a lot of the fans are going to be happy about this, especially for old school Macross fans. <laughs> a lot of them are complaining because they, they prefer the uh, Valkyries to be like standard military colors. So the, the traditional grey Valkyrie for Kair Kairos um, was pretty popular uh, and of course the Kairos edition of the VF31 um, is Pretty expensive still as a DX Chogokin, you know, but now that this one is coming out, and of course, as usual, the Chogokin series is always impossible to get uh, a pre order for it unless you're very lucky. But still, <laughs> anyways, we're gonna talk about the Valkyrie's abilities, so we're gonna go ahead into the Kyawawa room. Um, no, I, it's not the Kyawawa room, it's the Valkyrie improvement um, room, which we haven't used in two months because <laughs> that's how long we've not seen a brand new Valkyrie so let's talk about Hayate's brand new Valkyrie and what it does so let's improve this so immediately off the bat you can probably tell uh, this as if this Valkyrie is in the leader position it will give you the great success chance of whatever number percent there is so if you go going ahead and upgrade it which we will do because any ability that has an improvement of great success is always welcome um, so let's see what's the max percentage that this one does get okay this should be the last upgrade so if not wrong it should be 12% oh wow we can go further it's 15 Ooh. Okay. Yep, that's it. So 15%. So it's a well balanced Valkyrie with 210 attack and 210 life. So let's see any similar other Valkyries with this ability. So, yes, it seems like 15% is technically the highest. Um, but it's currently beating uh, the VF 31F. Um, you know, with better life stats you know, technically that five points is just shifted over to the attack side so it's pretty well balanced um so let's say for example if your team is currently using this one as the leader uh and if you like to have a bit more of a well balanced stats on that team setup maybe you might want to use Hayate's Benu Kairos Valkyrie um if not you know, you can go ahead and leave your team set up as it is. I do have a previous uh, tutorial video where I recommended my personal custom Valkyrie team setup for VOPs. Make sure you guys go check it out. I'll probably link it at the end of the video or even down in the description for you guys if you want to go and check it out for yourselves. Hopefully it will help you guys out with you know, clearing your VOPs uh, with ease and less of a headache. You know, that kind of stuff. Alright, so Valkyrie is done. Let's get down to the main thing about the whole video. Aside from the tutorial portion, hopefully that portion wasn't too dry and put you guys to sleep. Uh, it's always good to know what's going on and reconfirm yourself with what you already know because you've already played around with the functions a bit. <laughs> if I missed out anything, please let me know in the comment section down below because, like I said, I'm recording this like at 3 a.m. Now it's technically 3.30 right now. <laughs> this video is long enough. Uh, so I might have missed out certain things. So okay. Let's talk about Freya's brand new episode plate. Okay, 4,252 total score. That is if it's at plus 25 luck value. 
If it's not at plus 25 luck value, this episode plate only has 4002, which is pretty miserable for a 7 star episode plate. Um, okay, if you're wondering what the highest, um, you know, points there are for a 7 star episode plate, it technically belongs to Basara's episode plate right now, uh, which I recently got in the last video which belongs to a whopping 4,109. That is without the plus 25 luck value. That is currently the highest stat total value for a 7 star episode plate. So yeah, pay attention to that. And you know, considering that we've recently gone into 7 star episode plates that only focus on a single stat, as you can tell from Freya's episode played here, it focuses on the voice and of course the soul and charm suffers greatly. So it's technically pretty good for, you know, um, specific series songs um, when it comes to earning high score. So center skill, as usual, if you're using this episode played on a Macross Delta song, you gain that 150 boost uh, in your voice stat. Whoa, so... That's actually pretty good, <laughs> even though the total score is technically not that fantastic. Um, but that center skill for Macross Delta Song, that's pretty awesome. Okay, so moving along, uh, pay attention to the other three divas who can use this episode plate as a life skill. Not, not that it needs to be in the life skill slot. I mean, seven star episode plates have never been useful as a life skill support. So, but let's see how the life skill is. Um, active skill, as usual, if it's fully evolved, you get to double activate the active skill and it gives you the 15 seconds duration of 100% boost in score. Pretty normal for all 7 star pistol plates. Life skill, short duration ability, score up. So it's a pretty okay life skill. All 7 star pistol plates have a B rank life skill. So can't ask for more. And and it's actually a high score achievement life skill. So technically this episode plate is kind of okay to be used as a life skill support. But I'm sure you probably want to use an episode plate that has a better total score. Um, unless you're trying to focus on a specific song that only uses the voice stat. Okay, so just take that in mind. Anyways, as you can tell, it's one of those 7 star episode plate that doesn't have a special note attached to it, so that's kind of a bummer. So is this plate essential to get? If you guys are not Freya fans, I think it's okay to pass on it. But if you guys are like me, who are trying to collect all the costumes because of the live sequences, oh god, I, I pity our wallets. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, like I said, if you guys are not Freya fans, you can hold out on it. Uh, in fact, you don't really have to do the step up gacha uh, if you're trying to save money. Um, make use of the event gacha tickets, just do a free template pool. And of course, if you've got 300 singing stones sit sitting around, you can use the discounted template pool as well. Or if you're like me, you've subscribed to the special pass, you've probably gotten this ticket. Um, you know, because of the renewal of the subscription. So yeah, anyways, let's do this. We've got uh, quite a bit of things to pull, considering that um, I do have Super Dimension tickets that are expiring. So let's test the waters first. We'll use the free daily pool. This is the morning session, since the servers technically reset uh, for morning at 4 a.m. in Japan time. All right, so here we go. So no Valkyrie animations on the free pool. Okay. Alright, so let's skip this. Oh, costume points. So that's still pretty rare, considering it is a free pool. Hmm, are we finally getting good luck for this month? I hope we do. Uh, but I, I do hope we still retain some luck maybe for like... Uh, the future Mirai on costumes. <laughs> uh, considering we are getting four costumes this month that belong to the brand new set, you know, I'm more worried about the Mirai on costumes being a full set of seven stars. We know that this current set 
at least Machina and Reyna's costumes are not 7 star episodes of place, so it's really a big relief on my wallet. <laughs> okay, so let's do this. First, we have Super Dimension tickets. I have a whole bunch here that's gonna expire. Um, so, wow. I'm gonna have to pull quite a bit. Hmm, I could save a few for Mikumo's gacha video, so let's do 10 first. Here we go. Hopefully the luck doesn't go into this pool. Okay, so a decent load speed right there. Yep, so single Valkyrie. At least the luck is not on this pool. Okay. Single red box. In the second bling. A lot of Tomato Boy <laughs> appearance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, costing points. Oh, skip the animation, but it's okay. Oh, two new episode plays. That's pretty interesting. All right, so let's get out of this and let's head over to the main deal. Just gonna double check the latest episode. Uh, uh ticket. Expiration. Mm, fifth. Yeah, technically it should be on Mikomo's video. Alright, so let's do this. We still have a single free pool from the main banner. So should you actually do the step up gacha for Freya's banner? I would say no. Since her main featured banner does have the um you know event gacha tickets to kind of water down the pain for your wallet um, but of course if you guys are Freya fans please don't let my words hold you back please try and get your waifu's episode played or if you're a general Valkyrie fan and I guess go ahead and pull everything <laughs> okay so it's still a pretty rare common plate so hmm technically I could pull Freya Step of Gacha. I mean, I do have the Singing Stones for it. But let's do the template pool with the um, subscription base tickets first. Let's see how it goes before I decide on the Step of Gacha. Ooh, no loading at all. That's not good. Okay. So, three Valkyries. Maybe that Basara episode plate pool has already drained my luck. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. So many frontier plates. Here's the first red box. No evolution. A lot of frontier love. Uh, I'm good. At least I see my waifu. Okay. Lots of free ass points. No evolution on this one as well. Okay, it seems like we're getting a lot of love with the Sekan Hiko duo. <laughs> Free high and Ranka. Okay. Alright, so subscription tickets has gone down the drain. Should I do the step up gacha? I, I guess I should. I guess this month I'm gonna have to pass in two two packs of 10,000 yen. One on Freya and one for Mikumo. Hopefully I still have some stones left for Reina and Makina because those are the two of them are actually more important for me than Freya and Mikumo. Uh, I'm sorry, Frey Frey and Kumo Kumo fans, but you know, I have to stand on my waifus first. <laughs> Reina first, of course. Makina is my second. <laughs> Alright, so step up gacha. Oof, this is gonna be painful. Alright, here we go. Okay, we get some decent load speeds but slow at the end. There we go. So this is the regular pool rate, just discounted. And you can tell the luck is very dry. One single red box on the first bling. Ooh, lots of red boxes. What? Why is the game lagging? Oh no, is that a sign? There we go. 
No evolution on this one. Very old episode plate. Okay. Second red box. No evolution as well. Okay, it's a whole mixture of Delta and SDF Macross. Hmm. Alright, seems like the Ranka and Freya hair is a thing for my pool and a wild mirage appears. <laughs> okay, as expected, it's dry. Very dry. Maybe it's not a good idea to continue. You know, I mean, for you guys who are not doing YouTube content, I guess it's a good idea to strategize your pool. Maybe wait the next day. Um, but I'm doing YouTube videos. Let's keep going. <laughs> so this one is the guaranteed 4 star episode plate but at a 500 stone cost. Oh wow. That jump from 60% to completion. That's kind of worrying. Okay, 3 Valkyries. But we're guaranteed our 4 star. So I guess that's all we're getting. Yep. That face of Elto. I'm very worried. This video might end up very dry. Hmm. Here we go, the only red box. Oh, evolution! Yep, as expected, it only evolves to a rainbow. Do I have this? I feel like I have, but I don't see it very. Oh, it's new! Wow, okay, at least it's a new plate, so I'm not complaining too much, but I've already unlocked the full set of the Oshare Macross bikini set, so just, it's just additional stuff for me right now. Alright, so here we go, we get the fi guaranteed 5 star episode plate and above at a 500 stone cost, so I don't know. It's pretty unlikely we will see Freya's um, new episode play. Okay, here we go. One single Valkyrie. Ooh, Golden Orb. Could this be? Hmm. Ooh, straight away Rainbow. Okay. There might be a chance. I'm just hoping for it. At least the video won't end up anticlimactic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Lots of gumlin love. And once again, we see this episode plate. Moving along. Ooh, rare Konami plate. Oh, so many copies of this now. Here we go. No evolution. Oh, we're really getting a lot of Freya and Ranka love. What is with this gacha video? <laughs> okay. Do we see it evolve? Oh, I already have it evolved. Okay, so it's secret bots. Alright. That's fine. So, mm, should I go with the last step? Technically, the last step does give you a better chance for 6 stars. But, mm, I don't know. Should I? It's just a 4 star guarantee episode plate pool. I might as well just go with the discounted plate pool and then save the stones for the next video. Yeah, seems like this should be it. So let's do this. Like I said, if I do get my event gacha tickets and I do get something nice later on, I will include it in the next Utah Macross gacha video. So let's see. Let's see what this discounted plate pool gives me. Technically it's the same as the last step for the step up gacha just as 100 singing stones lesser or rather 200 stones okay ooh seems like the luck is good on this one hmm. okay we do get a rainbow box so we can always hope oh straight away Oh, no evolution and it's an old plate okay 
That's fine. If I'm not wrong, that was actually one of the bonus percentage picks for this current event. So that's not too bad. So we do have one last red box. Aww. So yes, expected um, dry video, but that's okay. We got a brand new plate. Well, at least I did get a brand new plate for my collection. Um, so that's not too bad. So anyway guys, I know it's a very long video. A lot to digest. So hopefully all the stuff that I mentioned has helped you out. Especially when it comes, when it comes to that version 5.1.0 update. And all the filter system. Um, hopefully if you play around with all the filters long enough. You'll probably recognize all the live skill. Um, in Japanese already. <laughs> And you may not need me anymore. Am I putting myself out of business? <laughs> oh god. So anyway guys. Thank you guys for watching through all the way. If you guys did. Let me know in the comment section. Leave a like on this video. Like I said. I really really appreciate if you guys do it. Uh, it will help me out in the channel. Um, you know. A lot. I cannot emphasize it enough. Um, so yeah. Until then guys. I'll see you guys soon. I really need to sleep. It's 4am now. <laughs> Bye!